we have the WEF confirming that you will be eating bugs and liking it. And we also have cue the fire. I, already, I think I already did. Cue the fire for number two. We have the tech sector getting its faces ripped off, getting the shorts ripped off. It's Bitcoin. And if you've ever had your shorts ripped off, I actually have. I was standing in front of a Mexican restaurant. Apologies if that just offended someone. I was standing in front of a, uh, a North American restaurant and my kids thought it would be a funny idea to come up behind me and pants me. And I just stood there and they stood there. They're like, you're going to pull up your pants? I said, no, you ever going to do that again? They said, no. See, it was funnier when they're like, dad, pull up your pants. Oh my gosh, you're embarrassing. I'm like, you're the one who pantsed me. Uh, that was very, that was a very uncomfortable moment for the familia. Also in this video, I will be talking a little AI and also Neil McCoy Ward. Shout out to his channel. I guess I'm a hot topic in their channel or in their group right now. Cause I, I was talking about shorting the corn and I said, if you have the cojones, so we will look at that just for you kids. But starting off with the tech sector that is freaking out right now with AI. These guys finally came back to work. They're like, Google, like, okay, we got to fix this. We're going to get destroyed. Oh, yep, you are. When technology changes, it changes quickly, and you got to make sure you are on the right side of it. Google, Amazon, Microsoft layoffs will result in a bloodbath. That is a great title, Johnny Bravo. Take that from whatever article this is. Of 40,000 jobs lost inside the tech industries. Week from hell, that's another good one. Not just is it going to happen, it's happening. We have the tech sector. More than 55,000 global tech sector employees have lost their job in 2023. Layoff data tracker. And I'm telling you, with AI, it's this is this is nothing, baby. Oh, and in case you're into it, I guess you can head over tens of thousands tech employees have already been laid off first few weeks of the new year according to data you guys go over to to layoffs.fy so what's bad for you is dump 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 great for the shareholders as google pops five to six percent microsoft intel that's just how it is your bottom line before your bottom line their earnings before your earnings that's just how it is so and like what i said earlier last year i said you think this year is bad wait until next year 2023 hey we're here bay area tech layoffs in 2023 are already outpacing the worst of 2022 and it's going to get even worse. So you don't even need to check your horoscope up here for Saturday. I can, I, Johnny Bravo already comes with the crystal balls. And I think about 75% of people are going to lose their jobs because of AI. And it comes quickly and things change. Uh, Google, Google calls in help from the founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin for, a, for AI fight. Last month, Larry and, uh, and Sergey Google founders held several meetings. They're like, all right, cancel the Bahamas trip. Let's have meetings because of you have this little little chat bot, uh, this little AI, right? It's going to take some market share. You see, if you kind of combo like AI with Google, put that together, whoo -hoo, look out below. Also, I should probably tweet this, but I won't. This is a moment of significant vulnerability for Google. So if you're thinking, wow, Google, great time. Look at this, great time to get in. Uh, uh, be careful. And also if you are new to this, it's chat GPT. Biggest, that thing took off like wildfire. It had more users in a week than Google, Facebook, and everything combined ever. Even Mark probably flew out of his chair, couldn't believe it. Some of the examples, explain quantum computing in simple terms. So you do, you just, you come over here, uh, you just, you type it in right here and it will do it for you. And then you're like, and then create a web page. And then it'll create a web page based on quantum computing. And then you say, okay, and then uh, create a landing page. Okay, and then create an email list for that landing page. And poof, it's all there. Just like swing trading, create a swing trading, create a this, and it just, it's all there. Although it does have its limitations. If you can see right there, 2021, limited knowledge of world and events after 2021, but, what I have to say is 
you're, you're seeing the beginning. Wait until version two, three, four. It's kind of like my, my cellular device here, okay? Uh, people are like, oh, that's really cool. It's a foldable phone, but it has problems. It has a, has a little, you know, it doesn't fold down properly. It's a little thick. When you, when you open your foldable phone, it, uh, you know, you can kind of see that little crease. Well, guess what? In the next phone, which is coming out in about four months, it lays flat. It's thin. It's lighter. It has no crease and it's water resilient. And not just that I could take it out. Oh, Hey, it's me. Elon. And I could, I could draw on it. I can send it to my wife. She could draw on it. All of those things. I can, I can close it. I can put it in my pocket, can wash the dishes. But if it's not an iPhone, I don't want it. I mean, the thing could shoot out gold bars or dollars and people with iPhones are like, oh, it's, it's, it's not an iPhone. So yes, tech is a big deal. And you have to make sure that you're not the canary in the coal mine and that you're pivoting. That's just how life is. My apologies. You're like, I just, why can't I just keep my regular job that's gonna, and it, and it actually, AI affects like the, the people that make a lot of money. It's not, not you know, mowing the lawn. Uh, AI is a little tough one on that. Although they do have lawn mowers that, you know, drive around and mow your lawn with, with no one in it, which I don't know why you'd wanna be in it. Are tech layoffs the canary in the US job market, job losses in big tech foreshadow more layoffs? in the US economy. Well, please tell us, Bravo. Well, I would love to. Let me just explain how the whole system is. See, we go in, uh, we go, oh, good times, bad times. Good times, bad times. It's like the stock market. Stock market goes up, stock market goes down. Stock market goes up, plunge in port of Long Beach. Imports, this is what China is sending you. They're like, oh, you wanna buy Johnny Bravo's plastic thing? Eh, no, I don't think so. But uh, imports to sharply lower. Okay, I'll say it again. Plunge in port of Long Beach imports points to sharply lower inflation. Well, that, that would be called deflation or disinflation because my audience doesn't like me using the word deflation. They're like, no, I need everything inflationary. And I keep telling you from like a hundred, go back a hundred years, it's a deflationary monetary system that is created in the bond market that you have to pay back in your taxes. It's just all not good. Trust me. No, and just in case you wanted to see how much, how much plunge, it's that much. It, it, it was up there, okay? Now, now it's now it's down there. Your demand for junk just isn't there right now. Oh, and this just in, breaking news. Hey, if you live in California, you probably wanna move. Uh, not the weather. What, this is funny, I Just this just came across the wire. What's behind California's skyrocketing natural gas bills? Oh, nat, nat gas must be just exploding. It is not. Actually, it's exploding in the wrong way. So you should probably call up uh, Gavin, see if he can if he can fix that. You guys are looking at 128% higher bill. So let me help you on what to do, okay? I can't believe, look, it was at $10, okay? Now it's at $3. Oh, so now let's, let's double them. Also, for those of you that are traders, uh, and I've been saying, look at that zone. You're in that Lux Algo, which I'm gonna go into with uh, Bitcoin in just a second. But you have to wait till confirmation. See that red line? See the blue line? Let blue line get above red line. Other than that, you're catching a falling knife. It could, it's at three bucks. Could go to two, to one. It's okay to accumulate, I guess. I mean, not financial advice. We only paper trade. Now, shout out to all the people from Neil's channel that are, that are talking about me. Come subscribe. Um, I'll show you. This was actually a price target. See that yellow line that I've, I've had drawn since uh, a, a whole long time ago? This is called, actually even Lux Algo had a triangle right there. It's like, if you break, it goes higher. Uh, well, no, you don't know that on that. It's a, it's a 50, 50 could break up. It could break down. It's just going to break somewhere. And if, uh, there's not very many coinage on the exchanges, you can manipulate this and going back right here. I, I've had this dra line drawn since forever. It goes all the way back. It's a falling wedge. I said, falling wedges, break up. It's going to break up. I'm shocked at how high it actually broke. That's when you have a lot of overconfident people that say, oh, this falling wedge is going to break down. But again, when you break that red line or you break my Bravo nine, also, if you want to learn how to swing trade these things, 70% off on how to do this stuff. This, the, the, the more like the falling wedges, things like that, that's in my bear market course, but you still want to start with the swing trade. And if you're just like, I'm new here, I don't know what to do. I actually have 
all of my courses for $199 a month for payments. If you're just like, wait, I can learn how to start businesses, trade equities in an up market and down market. Yes. You're basically going through everything that I taught every high school student in college in, in, in college too, all in one. Also, I had to turn my lights down. It was bright because I'm looking, I can't see. Uh, for those of you that want a FOMO, you, you right, watch crypto channels, which I try not to do because I get really excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to change, right? You've, even though the charts are like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You're like, I'm all in. What I'd like to do because charts are about fear, greed, okay, and history, right? And we go back in time and let's see what happens when you decide, I, which I, I've i never seen Bitcoin go over and above this area. I mean, I have, but it's it's a rarity. And then watch what happens after. So be careful because you are out of here. Let me uh, let me make it really a little bit bigger so you can see how far out of this. You're like, where, where are you going, corn? Actually, and I have a white line right there. Uh, I've had that up for about six months. Uh, that is where I will make sure that I have everything in on Bitcoin. It has to be before that line. It, reasons for it. Also, if you're wondering what that orange line is, that's a uh, that's support and resistance. That would be your support that goes way back. So that's what we'll do. Did it get out of that, that zone? No. I mean, you're like Biden's two inches above that thing. No, 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 no. How about here? No, no. How about here? Mm, yeah, you kind of top. But look what happens. Every time it goes into that area, it gets rejected. But I mean, you could still go higher. So, so be ready. Now, this is could be a really good time, and I've been saying this. It goes up, okay, and then you have to wait for confirmation while it's going down. Don't think you can catch a falling knife going up too. So, it, it, look, it's not out of that area, not out of that area. What happens afterwards? Even though you're in a bull market, it's going to go back up. It's going to come back down. It's going to come back down. It's going to come back down every single time. Came down a little bit. Uh, here, came back down. How much? You want to know what's the... Uh, What's the percentage on this? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked. From there to there, uh, down 26%. But then you go back up. So, all right, so coming back. Uh, no, but you see, pull back. No, no, I'm looking for just one time. No. Okay, what what year are we currently in? It wasn't until like the last, oh, here it is. There you go. Let me zoom in for it. All right, so we're probably right about, I'd say there in this, you know, if I go back to 2017 and then it dips back down, pulls more people in. Oh, oh, everything's great. You get in at $20,000, yeah, maybe. All right, uh, maybe, uh, oh, oh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, right? You get it? I mean, I have to go back to, fret. look, oh, 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 that 4,000. This was what, 2017, anything, anything, nothing? I could go back to the beginning of Bitcoin just to show you how overbought you have been. Because again, pantalones got ripped down and everyone's like, oh my gosh, got to cover. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe you, you should or you shouldn't. But I mean, I will take it if you guys think that this is now the start of the bull market. All right, there we go. Wait for the pullback. Enter back in. You just have to understand confirmation, okay? Why did you get in? When are you going to get out? Let me say that again. Why did you get into the position and when are you getting out? You got to know, are you going to take profit or are you just going to buy and hold? I mean, just talk to all the people that were in that gas. They're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so bad in the winter in six months. That's when I'm going to close my position. They got in at 10 bucks. It's now winter. It's now at three. Yeah, how you doing? You see, if you learn the charts, you wouldn't be caught off guard with all of the news, like coming in from the World Economic Forum. Hey, let's do that one. And they want to ram all this down your throats, but it's you got to do what's right. It's the right thing to do, right? If they tell you to do something and it's a, it's a government agency or a doctor, you should probably listen to them or you can listen to your, your soul. Davos speaker calls for 1 billion to stop people, you. Like probably, yeah, what are the animals? What are, you, what are you gonna do with them? Davos speaker calls for 1 billion people to stop eating meat. Okay, so carnivore animals, you're okay. We'll, we'll overlook you. For innovation and the environment, gotta do it for the environment, kids. Cause we have to make sure we have zero, zero carbon. And, and you know, eating the bugs is healthier than meat. I mean, we do have new guidelines too for you kids out there that ate too much, right? You ate, you ate too much meat. Consider drugs and surgery. This is this is what they're telling you from, from Health Watch. Tell us, CBS, uh, 
consider drugs and surgery at, at that age uh, for obesity in kids. New guidelines. Uh, waiting doesn't work. You got to do surgery. Probably has nothing to do with a caloric intake. Yeah, I think it does. But what do I know? I am not a doctor. So put them on the meds and put them under surgery. So whether it's the WEF or whoever's telling you, you got to listen. These are guidelines. Two weeks. That's it. It'll slow everything. And the economy and everyone. Children struggling with obesity should be evaluated and treated early and aggressively. You're at 12, 12 years old surgery. And you know what I always say? Just follow the money. You know, when they tell you to do things, be like, okay. Let's, who's making money? Just do that. Start there. Follow the money. So, and I knew teaching high school. Oh, this was crazy. There was a law that came out. Well, whatever the people that are in charge of you say, this is what's healthy. Um, the kids are getting really fat. So Coca-Cola and they're like, you got to get these vending machines out of here. Coke's making everyone really fat. So they're like, okay, how about vitamin water, which has more sugar and calories than Coke. It's owned by Coke. And they're like, that's a great idea. Whoo, dodge that bullet, huh? Corporate America. And then they said, oh, the kids are still fat. Make them eat vegetables, which uh, if you know, anyone under the age of 18 is not going to touch a vegetable. But so they decided to take tomatoes. Uh, Look it up. I don't want to Google it right now. Just trust me. I've never lied to you. They said tomatoes is now. Uh, uh, it's a fruit. Just to let you know. Uh, tomatoes is, is a vegetable. That's what they said. And because pizza sauce. Oh, okay. You put those vegetables, which is tomato on pizza sauce. Well, it's a vegetable. So if the kids are eating one slice, if they eat two, they're now doubling their intake. I'm not even kidding you. This is what they pass because it has to do with the money. Now, if they eat two, two slices of pizza, they're getting in double the vegetables and they're all going to lose weight. And also in the shopping cart of Coca-Cola. These are the stamps, you know, food stamps and all this. Yeah, you think Coke's going to lobby? Oh, yeah. You think they're going to spend a lot of money? Oh, yeah. So that's what they did. And I know this article is a little older, uh, but that's okay because we've grown a lot bigger. What do households on food stamps buy at the grocery store? <gasps> That would be Coca-Cola. That's great. Actually, that's the number one. The Finding Show, the number one purchases by Snap Households is, is soft drinks. So the number one thing that I'm going to ask you to do, because I always forget, is hit something. Hit a subscribe. Hit a like. Put a comment. Something. It helps me give you stuff that you're probably not going to find in mainstream media. Probably asked you too many things to do, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick one. Okay, subscribe. Just do me a favor. I'll take that one. Even though it's kind of crazy, there are actually YouTubers in my sandbox. You know, the finance channel, they have 4.2 million subscribers. That's a lot. I have like the point side of it, right? And they have all of it and they're getting not very many views. So I don't even know if like subscribers even matter anymore, but you're here. So I just want to say thank you so much. I love you. Also, just to know, just to let you know, I have no dog in this fight, okay? I look at charts and I give you probabilities. I just try to help you. If you want to make more money, sell plastic, even though I'm like, oh, that's terrible. Selling plastic, thing. Well, okay. Or trade equities, whatever, but again, I, there, there's no, no dog in said fight and it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled, which I've been seeing that going around for about three years. The things that I say on this channel, uh, end up becoming true. And then you, you go, no, bravo. I think, uh, you be the fool son. I mean, even then Elon ripped it off. That's okay. Elon, I, I still like this quote. It's easy to fool people, but it's almost impossible to convince people that they have been fooled. So never do I ever try to fool you. I come bearing the truth. Well, that is until it becomes the not truth. Or usually I come bearing the things that don't even seem to be true. And then they end up becoming true. So hopefully you subscribe. I really care about you guys. And I will see you tomorrow because I work every single day of my life, even though I don't have to. And go football team.